Fantastic <laughs> stuff. We love it. And you are, you are actually asking us off if we love the music. And I want to tell you this. Okay. Your voice. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Did you go for coaching, voice coaching? Thank you. Yeah, I, I did. You did? <laughs> yeah, actually. For some, <laughs> who, who did you see? Because I need some. <laughs> <laughs> who did I see for the vocals? Yeah. For the vocals. Yeah. Oh, it's called Dennis Mashauri. Mashauri? Yes. Ah. Dennis Mashauri. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but it's okay. So. Yeah. Question for you. Okay. Before we hear another dope, dope, dope track. Okay. Um, What's been the biggest lesson you've learned in the, in the years that you've been in? the industry Whew, i'd have to say patience <laughs> okay that's a big one yeah Why? patience um because sometimes you expect when you start to do something like now for me in my journey mm. I expected when i start i'll just start i go record drop my single you know and, and everybody <laughs> just follows <laughs> yeah. you okay. yes but i can tell you from when i started this is my fifth year yeah and that has really taught me a lot of patience mm. you have to be really patient and but with a proper plan, everything just pans out. Okay. Yeah, just okay. patience. Is, what do you yeah. mean by a proper plan? You know, the guys who are listening in the landing, what, 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 is, what, is, what, that? what is that? <sighs> okay, well, I say, I call it like uh, a proper plan, definiteness of purpose. Like you have to know, first of all, what is it that you want mm-hmm. yeah. to do. And then you have to work towards it. For example, now, like for me, I wanted to be, I want to be the best singer there is from, the, from East Africa, right? Oh, yeah. What do I need to do? to be able to achieve that. So I said, but I need to find maybe to polish my vocals. I need to polish my vocals. I need to attend maybe songwriting classes. I need to work out. I need to be in proper shape. I need to be in proper form. So you plan. Uh, if come any from Monday to Fridays, I'm a Monday from this hour to this mm. hour, I'll be working on my vocals from this hour and you have to stay consistent. So when you plan and you follow the plan to the T, everything will just like unfold. Mm. That's what I talk about proper planning. You're talking about doing the work. <laughs> it's, like, it's called doing the work. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you really but have to put in the work. I like that you're being intentional about it. I think a lot of people don't. Yeah. Uh, and you're very right. You expect that things will just happen. Yeah. yeah. Because those two creative juices, they confuse us sometimes. Mm, they I just learned. start flowing. <laughs> like, oh my God, this feels so nice. Endorphins, all those, yeah. all that yeah. dopamine. And yeah. then you realize, oh, inikazi. Exactly. It's actually work. It is. Okay. It is. So <laughs> let me ask you the, this question. Question. Ask me. You <laughs> said you are a mom and a wife. Yes. Do you not? Yes. Yeah. So. so that your husband, when he's hearing <laughs> these songs, he's like, oh, okay. You have to keep reminding him, like, listen, I, babe, it's not about you. <laughs> there was a guy, like, I don't want 10 years ago. Yeah, okay, sometimes that conversation has, I just like, hmm, you're singing at this, uh, who are you singing about? <laughs> My friend Noreen, <laughs> this was her story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but is he is speaking he, for a friend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking and speaking for a friend. Is he accommodating? Is he supportive? Oh, oh yeah, he is my number one fan. He yeah. is my support system. He's everything. Yeah. He's always there for my shows. He's always sharing my posts. He's he's just the one. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Speaking, speaking of, <laughs> are there any shows planned? I do have a couple of shows coming up next month. Yeah. I haven't gotten the dates yet, but I'm working on it. Uh-huh. But it should be sometime in Mother's Day, I think mm-hmm. one of them. And just around there. Uh, yeah. I don't I don't have the dates yet, but I'll announce on my on my pages when oh. I get and the dates. And your pages are where so people can start following you right now. Right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. On YouTube it's Jules Music, J U E L S music. On Instagram it's Jules Kanish, J U E L S K A double N I S H. On Facebook, the same Jules Kanish. On Twitter, it's the same Jules Kanish. Where else? And on TikTok, okay. it's the same Jules Kanish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, I have a friend <laughs> who has a lot of. She she goes through a lot when she's writing music. Um, she writes <coughs> music. Okay. Uh, but the only problem is she takes a long while to come up with a title. Okay. Yeah, she has a lot of problems. <laughs> that. That's why her music has been, you know, it's been 10 years she has since we got, you know, music from her. Mm. Uh-huh. And, uh, mm-hmm. so Do you have a question, <laughs> Martin? So what, I'm is wondering a question? Is, what I'm wondering is, uh, uh-huh. do you have the same problem? Do you title music according to the, the first letter uh-huh. uh, of the song? For example, uh, if, if the song starts with July, you mm. call it July, uh-huh. is the month I want to live <laughs> and mm. have fun with you. <laughs> because the whole sentence, you take a whole sentence and put it in the... In the, in the, in the in the, in the title of the song and then <laughs> people have to come and edit it no Jul, 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 Jul. <laughs> yes july 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 is okay well yeah. um sometimes it happens yeah. but uh, like for this song funny enough it was called fire fire yeah but oh. then we're like Ay, fire no so we change it for me so sometimes uh i can start with the first phrase of the song oh. like uh, 
particular like for example this one or <laughs> the thing that's you know constant with being the chorus or uh, yes. it all depends. yes yes martin i think you have had it now from a professional in the industry yeah? <laughs> <laughs> naming songs is a it's a really it's a it's a, yeah, it's it a, is a cry being on it's, l- it's like it's like naming an ad it's a lot of work yeah, yeah. and there's songs you live and stay without naming for a long while before yeah. you even name them mm. some people leave it as track number four <laughs> By the way, and, and that or in song, itself, song number two. Yeah. There's a group song number two. They yeah. said this song yeah. is song number two. Yeah. Then four <laughs> years later, they're like, oh, woohoo! It should have been called woohoo. Or, <laughs> or your audience determine what the title of the song oh, is. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You just hear they'll say that song. Which one? They don't say track number four, song number two. They say yeah. Ntakupenda. Yeah. 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 Then you're like, ah. So, w- so what, <laughs> Jules? What is what is your creative <laughs> process? How how does it work? Do you are you a uh, morning person? Are you forever writing? I, I wouldn't say I have a process, honestly, because yeah. songs just come to me random. Mm-hmm. When I'm cooking, when I'm in the shower, when I'm walking, I just hear a melody in my head and I just pull out my phone and I just uh, record the melody. And then after is when I'll revisit it and now start from scratch. Or I'll send Kobe over here, mm-hmm. the, the, vo- the voice note, and then we'll go to studio and he'll have prepared something. And if I like it, we jump on it and I write something. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I write fast sometimes i take hours before i write but so i can't really say i have a definitive process it mm. just when it comes it comes it and comes. i flow with it 